Hey everybody, Jim here. Welcome back for another video, uh, another game hunting video where today I went uh, way far away outside of Tokyo. In fact, today uh, we left the safe borders of Tokyo and we went all the way to Saitama. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, not really that far away. Saitama, uh, one of the neighboring prefectures, but I wanted to head out there today not to do a hard off hunt, mind you. Uh, but to go to Omandai Shoten, another great uh, place to look for games and other various collectibles. And uh, so that's what I did today. And uh, stop me if you've heard this one before. I didn't go alone. I was joined today uh, by my good buddy Destiny. Um, this is becoming kind of a running thing here on the channel. But I said before uh, that anytime she's in Tokyo, we like to make time to go hang out and go do some game hunting and stuff. And she was here for a couple of weeks, so we managed to... Uh, uh, spend some time and uh, film a couple of videos together. So she was back with me today. Uh, I drug her all the way out to Saitama to do some game hunting. Uh, we, we went for a nice long train ride. Uh, we went for a nice long walk. We enjoyed the scenery of a very cool uh, neighborhood outside of the borders of Tokyo again. Uh, which these days I don't leave Tokyo very much. So it's kind of a special treat. Uh, so that's what we did and we did some game hunting. We found lots of cool stuff and we had a great time So you're gonna see all of that in the video and come back at the end of the video to see what games I picked up today And with that being said, let's go game hunting Awesome! All right, look at this, everybody. Uh, we are in Ogikubo right now at Ogikubo Station, getting ready to go on our grand adventure today. And look who's with me once again. Man, you just can't take a hint. <laughs> I, I take you to these, the damnedest of places and I ditch you and you just keep finding your way back to me. Like a dog. All right. Well, today, you know, I'm gonna take you all the way out to Saitama. Are you ready for that? I hope, I'm just hoping I can find things I've been looking for because I've been looking for things and they're supposed to be common things but I can't find them. Well the place we're going today is huge. I haven't been there in a few years. That's what she said, yeah. Last time I was there they had a lot. They have a lot more than just games. They have toys and all kinds of stuff. It's a collectible hobby giant superstore. Okay. So we're gonna have fun there. Last time I was there Scruffy took me and okay. we found some really good stuff. So it's a beautiful day. It is actually we a nice got some, day. We got some good weather. We got about an hour train ride ahead of us. And I think this is gonna be a good video today, you know? Like, people say you're easy to look at, I'm easy to listen to. Oh, we're, we're the perfect combo. <laughs> the two of us together. Because honestly, I'm not the easiest guy to look at. And yeah, your, I... your voice can get a little grating after a while, but I, <laughs> you know what? I say we got the best of both worlds today. Look at that. Thank you, Mr. Train. You ready to go on this train ride? Let's, do it. Let's ride the train. Let's go. Look at this. We finally came to uh, Kawagoe is where we are. The uh, lovely neighborhood of Kawagoe. Uh, took us about an hour to get here. Went from sunny to kind of overcast. Yeah. Uh, but that's okay. So, Destiny, are you ready for more good news? Good news, yeah. <laughs> uh, the shop is about two and a half kilometers from here. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's not too far. It'll probably take us about 25, 30 minutes to walk there. And that's good news for who? 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, I could use a little bit of exercise. I don't know about you. I walked so much in Disney yesterday. My uh -huh. watch was like, hey, we see you're working out. I'm like, no, I'm not working out. Well, actually. Well, now you get another workout and so do I. Burn a few calories. And uh, hey, in 30 minutes, we'll be at a really kick-ass store. Hopefully. Looking at video games and all kinds of other ill shit. Hopefully. Hopefully, definitely. All right, lean on me. You know what I'm saying? When you're not strong. I got you. You ready? Let's do you it. You got your walking legs on? I got my walking shoes. You got Crocs on. They are comfortable. All right. Well, I hope they hold up because we got two and a half kilometers to go. Let's yeah. go. Destiny, as you can see by the outside here. Hey, you said you were looking for some little gachapon yeah. things, right? They might have them in they there. They might. I saw the like pictures of crane games stuff. They've, like, they've got gachapons, they've exciting. got cranes. It looks like it's two separate buildings. The building over there, the big one, that's the proper Mandai Shoten. I think this is almost like a little annex where all they have is like oh, we can go crane there games. After. Oh, it's actually, oh, is it a Mandai? That's what I was. Mandai, what does it say? Mandai Amuse. Okay, so the Mandai Shoten, where we're gonna do our shopping, is over here. And then over there is Mandai Amuse, where they have crane games and gachapon and stuff. Cool. Uh, but here we are. That was a nice leisurely walk. Yeah, it wasn't actually as bad as you were making it seem like it was gonna be. Well, you know, you had me to keep you company, and I feel like that really just made the whole thing just that much more pleasant. Um, but here we are. We're at the Mandai Shoten. So they got everything. They got comics. They got games. Oh, they got comics? DVDs. They got uh, cards, trading cards, model kits. You can see up here this big thing. They got gadgets and gizmos. They've got fishing gear. They've got adult products for the discerning adults. Because we're adults, right? Kind of. Yeah. I mean, I'm an adult, but I'm just not adult size. That's true. You are quite diminutive. And I got even some gachapons for you right here. Yeah. All right, so here it is, everybody. It's Mandai Shoten. She's going to go mess with that. But we're going to get inside, and we're going to do some proper game hunting. So uh, check it out. That's what's coming up right now. figure overload uh, and it's, it's, just, it's so much and it's like oh my god they got a little bit of everything we haven't even looked at any of the games no, yet not even I actually I don't know I'm gonna have to figure out where the hell they are to find games out of all of this Bro. this figurey stuff but it's pretty damn cool 
Was it not like this three years ago? It was, but you know, I have a very bad memory. So, uh... ドラゴンボール3悟空伝 Giant Game Boy, uh, take a look at this. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool because uh, they don't have, I'll say now, they don't have as many retro games in here as they did a few years ago. So they're kind of theming the whole section, like they turned it into like a little attraction as we're looking at some uh, some Game Gear and Game Boy and Good Boy and Bad Boy and Old Boy and Atta Boy. Uh, one of the cool things you can see on a lot of these, they have these yellow stickers uh, that say something to the effect of 800 yen as we look at Akira for 1480. Um, the games in here, all the ones that are 300 and some odd yen, so you see a bunch of these are 380. Uh, if you buy three of them, you get them for 800 yen. Uh, 1380 on YY World there. Uh, so that was a hell of a deal. 380 for Gradius. That's a very good deal because you got to understand 380 is already like under three dollars with the exchange rate. And if you bundle three of them together, you're getting them for 800 yen, which is about six bucks. Uh, it's like two dollars per game. And when one of those games is Gradius, a two dollar copy of Gradius, absolutely. We got some Kunio Kun, we've got some Tecmo Soccer. Some Dragon Ball Z's, some Hinotori, other various things. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's very sparse. Um, this place used to be basically like just this big, giant repository of retro games. Last time I was here, Rockman 2, 1280. Uh, that's actually a really good price on a very clean copy of Rockman 2. That's very nice. Um, it seems like they got rid of most of the retro games to make room for the more modern stuff. Uh, as we look at some N64 loose carts, and uh, these as well, you could get three for 800 yen. So there's, uh, we've got some Wave Race here. Great game. Although this copy is like 200 and something yen. 200 yen already. I don't exactly know why. Uh, but then that one back there will be... Uh, not 200, but yeah, it's, it's three something, but uh, at, at the end of the day, it'll be bundled into that 800 yen bundle. And there's uh, Star Wars, and there's Pokemons, and Mario's, and Donkey Kong's, and Kirby's. You can get Kirby, you can throw that in for your 800 yen bundle. You got some, uh, the Mickey Mouse kart racing game, which is actually pretty solid. I was actually surprised the first time I played it, because I've always been, uh, as we see here, Diddy Kong. Definitely throw that into your little 800 bundle. So, spoilers for the end of the video. I actually bundled up a bunch of these games. I think I ended up getting like 12, 12 games for like 3,000 yen or something. It was an amazing deal. Uh, here we have all the God Odin Setsus, all the Fatal Furies. We've got Fatal Fury Special, Fatal Fury 2, and the original. And they're all 380 yen, meaning I, when I went ahead and got all three of them, I got all three for 800 yen. It's like six bucks for all three Fatal Fury games. That's a fantastic deal. Uh, we got some other cool stuff. There's there's Kunio Kun. There's uh, what what else we got? As I say that, uh, Super Donkey Kong, aka Donkey Kong Country, for 380 yen. Uh, a lot of the stuff here, they just slap that 380 yen sticker on it and say, uh, "Come on and uh, bundle them together." Super Bowling. I seem to recall playing back in the day Super Metroid for 1980. For some reason, Super Metroid is one of those first-party Nintendo games that uh, maintains a, a decent price on it. We've got some Bomberman games. We've got Mario RPG for 480. So that's still okay. We got some Street Fighter Super Street Fighter 2 for 380 yen. That's going in a bundle. Uh, so yeah, I was uh, pretty pretty excited when I saw that, that uh, as long as you were finding these 380 yen games, and you can see that 
it's good games. It's not just like trash. Um, bundle them together and uh, get them for those low, low prices. Darius Twin, nine eighty, uh, which is a good price on that. It's actually like the same price as I picked up a copy for at Super Potato recently, six eighty, for Tetris Battle Guy Din, and that ain't bad. And seven eighty for Zelda. Good old Zelda, Link to the Past. 380 for Seiken Densetsu 2. And get your secret of mana going. Now we got the Dragon Ball Zs, the Super Butodens, and the other various DBZ games. They're all 380. So much good stuff. Hey, a wild destiny appears. Uh, okay, let's see what we got. So Destiny, here are some of the uh, retro games they got here. Just Famicom and Super Famicom, but I love the uh, the decorative. Aesthetic, where it has Bowser and Peach, you know, very yeah. Mario movie. They got the classic N64 Peach window there and there. This is pretty cute. The games in here, they don't have that many, but the prices are good. Yeah. And for the games that are 380 in, which is like three bucks US, you can bundle them together, uh, three of them, and get them for 800 yen. So you can get a few games and decent stuff too. You can get the Street Fighters, the Dragon Ball Zs. Uh, a lot of these N64 games are all 380 yen. Yeah. You can put three of them together and it's only 800 yen and you got yourself three games. And that's pretty cool. We got some good stuff here. Ganbari Goemon, Super Dodgeball, Kunio no Oden, which is kind of a fun, underappreciated puzzle game. And all of these Fatal Fury games are 380 in. Yeah. So you can get all three of them. Fatal Fury 1, 2, and Special for only 800 yen. That's crazy. Holy Jesus. Make a shocked face for the thing. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, let's take a look at some of this uh, goodness in this marked retro game cabinet. There's some cool stuff back there, including God Odin, Break Blow, Fist or Twist, Choto Q is in there, some Umihara Kawase, which is awesome. Uh, we got Demons Blazing, we got Tron Bon, uh, we got all kinds of good stuff. PC Ginjin, aka Bonk. Always loves me some Bonk. Is that like Gourmet Fighter? And there's Rockman and Bass and uh, Iron Commando. This is cool, don't see that too much. And the cartridge, the Famicom cart of the original Legend of Zelda. That's uh, far less common actually and more expensive. Then the Famicom disc version, Vegeta <laughs> getting his uh, his ass kicked, as so often happens on that show. 3280 for some Darius Gaiden. Botsugun! But that's like 21,000. Street Fighter 03, Sonic Wings Special. 12.8 uh, for that Famicom there. A nice looking Famicom, but 12.8. Well, I guess in great condition and also boxed and everything. That ain't too bad. Uh, we're gonna bypass. Uh, a bunch of the modern stuff. We're gonna let that uh, alone for uh, Destiny. Uh, but we got some other uh, Super Famicom stuff here we missed earlier, including the Rockman games, Rockman X and X2 and X and N7 and Rockman and Forte. We got Yu Yu Hakusho 2, 380 yen, and some Hokuto no Ken games. Those are all pretty much terrible though, so you can bypass those completely. And then Roku Denashi Blues. Uh, for 380 that's actually a really good deal on that game that's a cute game that's one i covered on my channel like a long long time ago uh muscle bomber 380 aka saturday night slam masters and that again is a very good price on a copy of that game usually much more expensive but here again marked as retro game uh this little section all by itself so we're gonna look at some gamecube first including some wind waker some Mario Sunshine for 1980, so that's like 14 or 15 bucks, um, and that's in really good shape. Some Sonic Heroes 1530, so that's probably closer to 12 bucks. Not too bad considering GameCube games are uh, kind of few and far between. Pretty good price here on uh, Biohazard Zero at 430 yen. 
Cannot go wrong with that, even though you can just buy like an updated version of that, can't you? Battle Stadium D-O-N for 480 yen. The Smash Brothers clone featuring Dragon Ball, One Piece, and Naruto characters. Look at all this. We got more stuff here. We got a lot of PS1 to look at. Which is exactly what we're going to do. We got some Ark the Lad, one of those RPG makers. Those are kind of cool. I dabbled with one a long time ago. Uh, one of those X Games things. Are those supposedly like the, the 2 Extreme and 3 Extreme? Whatever the hell those were. Uh, Rocky and Hopper. Okay. What is Rocky and Hopper? I haven't the slightest, but I do like penguins. That's a little known fact about me. I'm a big fan of penguins. Maybe my favorite bird. It's penguins or it's owls. I don't know where everyone else stands on this issue. I'm um, Jammer Lammy. Cool Borders for 230 yen. That's uh, pretty good. That's like literally like a buck fifty. Get you some cool borders. And uh, who can complain about that? Uh, we got Common Rider here, 1280. One of the many, 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 many Common Rider games. I come across them all the time. And uh, there you go. Shockwave. Which, uh, I think I had played Shockwave on the 3DO back in the day. Tekken 2 for 609 yen. IQ Final. Street Fighter 03 for 700 yen. Beat em up, guy. Um, Crash 2. Uh, Clock Tower, the first fear. Uh, interesting port. It's actually the PS1 version of the original Super Famicom Clock Tower game. It's 1580. And that's pretty cool. In case you didn't know, Clock Tower on the PS1 in North America is actually Clock Tower 2. 580 for Dino Crisis. Still a good deal on that. Like four bucks, you get you some Dino Crisis. Ghost in the Shell. I love this game, and it's 1480. And it's got some damage to the disc and other various things. De damage to the manual as well, but. Uh, you know, it's it's still going to be in decent shape, I suppose. Star Wars, The Phantom Menace, everybody's favorite, of course. Uh, I'm being facetious there. Bomberman Wars, that's kind of cool. Star Ocean, The Second Story. Uh, one of my favorite PS1 RPGs, by the way. If you never played it, you should. Uh, some Xevious, Legend of Mana, one of my other favorite RPGs on the PS1. Uh, Rebel Assault 2, that's another game that I think initially I played on the 3DO. And it's got a, it's PS1 version there. Here's another Legend of Mana, but I think it's just the manual. And a disc, or one of the discs. Was that a 2 disc game? I suppose it was. Um, we got more stuff here, including something with dolphins. How the hell should I know? You know, I like penguins. I'm not a huge fan of dolphins, and I don't know why. Uh, Twin B, uh, Puzzle Dama. So this is the Twin B version of, what is it? The Tokimeki Memorial Puzzle Dama. So there you go. Get your puzzles on and your damas, all that stuff. Poyo Poyo Sun, which uh, I prefer. I'm a Poyo Poyo fan. And Sun is probably my favorite game in the series. I do like it quite a lot. And we have another copy. And they're like 900 and some odd yen. You can see Destiny's croc off to the side. Get out of here with those crocs, will you? <laughs> but it was kind of warm, so. I've never worn crocs in my life, but I'm told they're they're good on hot days. The Puyo Puyo box. Uh, multiple Puyo Puyo games on a single disc. So if you're a fan of that series, I mean, how could you go wrong? Kill Eek the Blood. Who can forget that classic? Because you got a kill eek, you got blood, and uh, I think the you know the rest kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? Um, we got more good stuff here. Rockman X3, four thousand yen, and that's not cheap for that one. That was kind of yeesh, bust a move. Forty-seven uh, twenty-five. Wow, for Rockman X4, that's uh, again, that's not cheap. Um, okay, some X. Uh, X5, X6, this though, Hokuto no Ken 1280, that's a steal because that game is usually like three times that much. Uh, so I was happy to find that. I'm taking mental notes as I'm as I'm looking, by the way. All the stuff I come back on my final sweep to purchase. Some Christmas nights, some Sakura Wars stuff, whatever the hell. Grandia, this and that and the other thing. Uh, this, that and the third, these uh, Saturn games. Uh, so they had a cool little selection of Saturn games here. I think we're going to see, like, some 
Less common stuff a little later. 840 for the original Street Fighter Zero. Still a fun game. Although, you know, with Zero Three, what can you do? Uh, 714 for the original Tokimeki Memorial Puzzle Dama. So, uh, the original on the Saturn, and it's actually cheaper than the Twinby version. So, spoilers, guess what went home with me today? That's right. Uh, some Moyo <laughs> Boyo Sun, Saturn Bomber, man. We got all kinds of stuff here. Let's hear it for awkward pauses, huh? Street Fighter Collection. $24.99. Uh, again, that's a bit steep on that. Most of these games are priced great, but some of them, $37.59 for X4. Which, that cover is amazing, though, isn't it? Just Zero standing there looking all badass. Um, but whereas the prices are really great on most things, some of them not so much. A lone CD, Neo Geo CD game, Fatal Fury Special. Uh, probably my, well, with that and Mark of the Wolves, I don't know. Hard to pick a favorite. Sound Virtual Cop. Because, why why not virtually be a cop? Puzzle Bubble 2X, Darius Gaiden. Excellent game, 3024 And that's actually a pretty good deal on that. Like 25 bucks for that game? Yeah, that ain't bad. And we got a little, little, tiny, almost depressing selection of Dreamcast games. But we got Shitoku Battle, a.k.a. Tokyo Extreme Racer, which was the first Dreamcast game I ever owned, and I still love that game to this day. Biohazard 2 Value Plus... Probably my favorite version of the original Biohazard, even though it's overpriced here. Shinmu, though, uh, still 380 yen, even though that copy is missing something. It's like missing the manual or something. 280 for that one. And some Sakura Wars. Some Get Bass, baby. When I tell you to get... It's not a, it's not a question. It's not a title. It's a command. Get Bass. We're not... It's not a discussion. You're going to get the bass. You're going to suffer the consequences. Anyway, uh, that's <laughs> all the various stuff. I don't know, random. Look at some junk. I don't know. Uh, but that's the retro games. Let's do let's do an Evil Dead thing with Destiny to get out of here, huh? Where is that woman? Oh, my God. There she is. Is Destiny. Hi. Destiny, I couldn't help but notice you're looking at all these DS and 3DS games and some of the more... Uh, modern stuff than what I usually would do. Maybe some of the PS4 and Switch stuff. Right? Yes. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say something else. My bad. But yeah, uh, kind of looking at all the Switch games kind of make me miss uh -huh. collecting for the Switch. Not like the struggle it was, but the whole look of it. Well, I think the, the point I'm getting at is, is for the people watching my video and enjoying me looking at all those retro games, if they want to see something maybe a little closer to modern day, they can go and watch the video you're making. They do have a ton of Pokemon DS games. They got Pokemon DS? A ton of them. So and if they go and watch your video, you're going to talk about Pokemon DS in a video? I will. Oh my god, I think, uh, you know, probably eventually there'll be a link in the description or in a pinned comment. People just go click on it and go watch your video because it's a cross-promotional thing we're doing right now. <gasps> oh my god. Alright, so I'm going to go stock up on games we're gonna buy some stuff and then we're gonna get the hell out of here because it is hot yeah as balls it really today. is or it's hot in, in here. here it's nice and cool outside but it's i don't know they did something in here they started a fire it uh, was a lot cooler downstairs than it was upstairs as soon as we came upstairs the temperature changed so buy your games quickly before i sweat to death and then let's get the hell out of here gotcha right on hey fist bump of ah. friendship <laughs> friendship Okay, Destiny, Big D. That was interesting. Mandai Shoten. What did you think of Mandai Shoten? It had a lot of games for really cheap. Mm -hmm. Like I've been mostly in like Tokyo getting games, and the price of N64 and Super Famicom the games in there were like half. Absolutely, I got. They had the three. If they were marked at 380, 
you could get three of them for 800 yen. So I did that four times. And so I got 12 games for like 25 bucks with conversion rate, if that. Yeah. Uh, so that was really good. Then I got a few other really good games too, but I'm gonna do my finds of the day at home. I'm gonna show everybody all my cool stuff, yeah. all the sweet gear I got today. Uh, but you shot a video of your own. It's gonna yes, be on your channel. Yes, on my channel of oh my. the stuff that Jim doesn't show because Jim likes all the old man games. The old grandpa games. Look. With the back of my day. Yeah. Well, everybody, if you just didn't get enough of that Jim and Destiny action, you can find more in Jim and Destiny over on my page. On the Destiny FOMO channel. And it's gonna be not quite as good as this video, but probably yeah. it'll be all right. It'll be okay. It'll it'll be good for some background noise, I, I imagine. You'll see Jim, so that'll be cool. Uh, yeah, I'll be in there. So, <laughs> uh, Destiny, this was cool. Thanks for coming all the way out to Saitama with me, going for a walk, and uh, putting up with my bullshit all day long, motherfucker. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do my finds of the day, but uh, you, young lady, this is where the audience says goodbye to you. Goodbye. So long, lady. Let's do this. Get the hell out of here. Okay, everybody. There you go. That was the Mandai Shoten in Kawagoe, which was uh, pretty cool. Uh, I think I said in the video I had not been there in about three years. So I uh, didn't really know how it was going to have changed at that time. Uh, the last time I was there, uh, actually there were a lot more games than there were now. Uh, but now it seems there's a lot more modern games. Uh, three years ago it was pretty much all like retro collectibles and stuff. Uh, now though there's like a retro game section, like an area marked off specifically for that, like it's a special attraction. And uh, the rest was all like Switch, PS4, uh, modern handheld stuff, things like that. So uh, definitely different, uh, but still a lot of fun to hang out there. It, it's especially cool if you like uh, a combination of the things they have there. If you like games and you also like figures and anime related goods. I mean, they even had like fishing lures and stuff. They just had a whole bunch of stuff there. Um, so it is a fun place to just sort of like hang out and, uh, you know, just look at all the cool things they have. And then next door, we actually did end up going to uh, the, 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 the spot they had next door. It was all like crane games and, and gashapon and stuff. So we, we spent a little bit of time in there too. But we had a lot of fun. Uh, always cool when Destiny comes to hang out with us. And uh, I did pick up some games today because they did have some pretty cool stuff in there. First of all... Um, like I said in the video, you saw they had, if, if there were games for, I think they were under 400 yen, if they were 300 and some odd yen, if you picked up three of them together, you got all three of them for 800 yen, which is like, I think $6, something like that. So essentially like uh, two bucks per game. Uh, so that was an excellent deal. So I actually ended up picking up 12 games just for that. So for those 12 games, I think I paid 3,200 yen, which is about 25 bucks. 25 bucks for 12 games, that ain't bad. In total though, uh, we picked up 17 games today and the final tally was 11,178 yen. Uh, so that amount of money, exchange rate for 17 games, I think isn't so bad, especially since, uh, aside from those 12 uh, more inexpensive games, I picked up some really cool stuff um, since I got such a good deal on those, I didn't mind uh, splurging a little bit and picking up some that were a little more expensive. So we're going to take a look at those now, starting with uh, one of the best games in this particular shoot 'em up series for the Sega Saturn. You might already know what it is. Uh, it is Darius Gaiden. And Darius Gaiden, uh, what's so great about this game? Uh, well, it's just a really solid Darius shoot 'em up. Um, it's nothing you hadn't seen before in a Darius game, really. You get all your power-ups you're used to, so you can power up your laser, you can power up your missiles, and your defensive shield, and you uh, kind of choose your path through a bunch of differing stages, one after the other, because it's all like spread out, A, a through Z. Um, so that's always cool, um, but the, the visuals are very nice, the gameplay is super solid, it's fun, it's challenging, and the soundtrack is excellent. It's a Zuntada soundtrack. If you don't know, in the 90s, Zuntada was Taito's in-house band. They composed a lot of music for their games back then. Some of my personal favorites being uh, like the Psychic Force soundtrack. That's probably my favorite one they've ever done. 
Um, but the one for Darius Guy Den is no slouch. So yeah, just a solid, excellent Darius game. Cool visuals, great soundtrack, fun, challenging gameplay, all the big, giant fish spaceship things to fight. Uh, it's just really, really good. And it's got a lot of fans, and I am one of them, so I was having to pick this up today. They took the plastic off, so I don't really remember exactly how much I paid for it. Let me consult my receipt here. It was probably like, I don't know, like uh, 15 bucks maybe? 1980 yen with exchange rate? Probably about 15 bucks. Well worth it. Uh, such an awesome shoot 'em up. Uh, Darius Gaiden. Good stuff. Was really happy to find this. Uh, next up, this was 714 yen. So about five bucks, which is way, way, way cheaper than I ever see it for. The only game in the Tokimeki Memorial series that I enjoy playing. Uh, it is Tokimeki Memorial, let me, uh, Tyson. Tokimeki Memorial, Tyson, Puzzle, Dama. There it is. Um, what is Tokimeki Memorial, Tyson, Puzzle, Dama? Tokimeki Memorial is a series of Konami dating sim games which uh, I personally have no interest in like dating sim or like visual visual novel games, stuff like that. They don't interest me at all. Um, I know some import collectors, they love those. They, they, they really go for them on the, you know, the PC Engine, on the Saturn, the PCFX even. Uh, I'm not a big fan, but there is a Tokimeki Memorial puzzle game and it's essentially just like Puyo Puyo. Uh, you match up orbs of the same color, and then you clear them from the screen, and then it's a vert. You play versus mode, and you can send junk pieces over to your opponent's side, and that's that. It's nothing revolutionary. Again, it's very much like a, like a, a Puyo Puyo or something like that. But it is still a very fun, well-made puzzle game. It does what a good puzzle game should do. It's a simple premise to the gameplay, but it's fun and addictive and competitive if you've got someone to play with. And there are other versions of this. There's a Twin B version as well, and I think there's probably a sequel to the Tokimeki Memorial one. Uh, either way, though, for five bucks, like that's crazy, because usually when I see this game, it's like thirty bucks, um, and so that's just a deal I couldn't pass on. It's a fun game, and I found it at a great price, and so of course I was going for that. Uh, Tokimeki Memorial Tyson Puzzle Dama, pretty cool. Next up. Uh, this, this was shocking, the, the price on this, uh, $12.80, so this was about 10 bucks. Again, this is a game I usually see for like 30 to 40 um, It's becoming uh, less common. It is an awesome game, by the way. This is Hokuto no Ken on the PS1, and the full title is crazy. It's Hokuto no Ken Seikimatsu Kyuseishu Densetsu. A uh, very long title, but essentially what it is, this is the Hokuto no Ken game that, that should have been made uh, years before because leading up to this, if you've ever played any of the 8-bit or 16-bit games based on Fist of the North Star, you know they pretty much all suck. Uh, this game though is really cool. It's essentially a, a 3D beat-em-up uh, Fist of the North Star and that's pretty damn cool. You, it, it goes through the entire series, all of the, the major sequences and villains and all that stuff. And you basically you're thrown into a stage, you get a big bunch of bad guys to fight, you beat them all up, and they explode in a bloody mess, as is tradition for Fist of the North Star. But then there are boss characters, um, they're like mini bosses and bigger bosses, and to uh, take them out, you go into kind of like a quick time button press scenario, where you have to hit all the buttons correctly, and then you do a super move. And then you get to watch the character like bend all out of proportion and, and blow up again, as is tradition for Fist of the North Star. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. It's pretty simple, straightforward beat 'em up game. There are some mini games and stuff too, which are pretty cool. But essentially, it's just a 3D beat 'em up based on Fist of the North Star, and and that's really all you need to know. The graphics are pretty good. The soundtrack is what you expect. Basically, it's the music from the show, and it's fun. And for a Fist of the North Star fan, it's great to actually have a decent playing game based on the series. There have been some other cool ones since then, but when this was released, this would have probably been like the first like really decent uh, Fist of the North Star game. Uh, so it, it's great. I, I like this game a lot. I think I featured this in like a review back in the day and like import game of the day when I was still doing that stuff. I actually really like this game. This is one of the better Fist of the North Star games ever made. And for 10 bucks, I was floored, absolutely floored. This game is usually much more expensive than that these days. 
Uh, so I was very, very happy to find it complete with spine card and all, just in uh, immaculate condition. Uh, it is Fist of the North Star, Hokuto no Ken Seikimatsu Kyuseishi Densetsu. Say that three times fast. And last but not least, uh, this was, I think, the most expensive game of the day. Um, and it was still wasn't like that expensive. It was 3,000 yen. So probably about 25 bucks for this one. But uh, this was one, like, whenever I see it, I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta get that. Not just for me, because I like playing it, but I, I send these games out in the mail to uh, patrons on my Patreon page. Um, and so this is one, anyone who's requesting PS2 games, this is one I know that when they get it, they're gonna say, Yes, uh, it is Metal Slug 3. Uh, my favorite Metal Slug game. There are a bunch of Metal Slug games. They're all good. I'm a big fan of the series, but 3 to me is where they found that like perfect, just that perfect balance of everything. Just action-packed gameplay, super fun. Lots of hidden areas and secrets to find. Uh, lots of cool vehicles and stuff to ride on, including like riding elephants and camels and <laughs> with machine guns strapped to them. And then just... The, the, the insanity level is is just like overload. It's so awesome. You get all the stuff that you, you would want from a Metal Slug game. There are big aliens and giant robots and monsters. The zombie stage is, as a horror fan and a fan of zombie films, um, in particular a big fan of Return of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, stuff like that, uh, Brain Dead. Um, a zombie stage thrown right smack dab in the middle of my Metal Slug game is always going to make me happy, especially since you can turn into a zombie and then vomit blood and, and destroy everything with your blood vomit cannon. Um, that's just excellent. So gameplay is, is insanely fun, out of control, good time. Multiplayer is great. The visuals are excellent, as is per usual for Metal Slug. The soundtrack is awesome again especially stage three with the zombies what I, I forget it's like midnight wandering is the name of the song or something but uh, i love that track i love all the tracks in this game but um yeah just all that stuff together the gameplay the visuals the soundtrack all the weird quirky things the bonuses the the vehicles and weapons everything just comes together in this i think this to me is like my ultimate metal slug game uh, it is my favorite, and for like 25 bucks, this is a game that's not getting any cheaper these days. Uh, so I absolutely wanted to pick it up while I had the opportunity to, uh, because it is amazing. If you've never played it before, you're doing yourself a disservice, because this game is great. Again, that is Metal Slug 3, and it's oh so awesome. And that's it. Those are my finds of the day of the 17 games I picked up today, these four uh, I felt like were the best, the cream of the crop. And uh, so yeah, that was great. Really awesome surprise to be at Mondai Shoten and see they had that that uh, three for 800 yen deal. And I picked up some really good stuff on the N64, Super Famicom and Famicom uh, for low, low prices. So that was awesome. Uh, and again, thank you Destiny for hanging out today, coming out and joining me on my game hunts. Always kind of brightens my day when a friend uh, tags along for one of those and you probably already know destiny has a YouTube channel here much much bigger than mine uh, But if you want to go check it out link is in the description uh, Not the guy from Zelda, but the actual link to her channel um, But yeah, so uh, thanks for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll come back for our next uh, game hunting excursion Whenever and wherever that may be but until then take care everybody and I'll see you then. Goodbye